test. Test. This is about a 20 second delay on the audio. I'm you might turn need... it down because I don't need to hear. Yeah. And now it's picking up where it picked up my phone. Yeah. This is about a 20 second delay on the audio. Put your, put your headphones in because like, it might do better for you to hear it in time with what's going on. God, I sound like cornbread. Like I said, I'm just going to watch it on the screen and I'll listen to you talk. I know, but I'm saying the, the video is going to be delayed too. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I was saying. You might want to just get your headphones. Well, if the video is going to be delayed, then I'm still gonna be hearing it like way later than I'm sorry what you're doing uh, options enables I wish we could just hook the TV up and split the screen like before well then I wouldn't I wouldn't have any audio you, we still had audio you had audio I didn't So when, when we were playing Dead by Daylight, you you didn't hear anything? I could hear a little bit, but it was across the room from that TV. Oh. There's nothing coming through my headphones. That's why I didn't have them on. Oh, okay. I, I thought you were still hearing stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Episodes. Oh, I don't want to do that yet. I'm do normal. Because I'm a gamer. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I can't hear anything you're saying. I got my headphones on. Uh, I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream As unsettled me. It was wild delayed. and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Is that an audio? Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately. to reach my destination. Okay, so it pauses when I go out. I couldn't remember. I've been driving too fast on the coastal road to get there. Input. Input. Nice. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. It's just frozen. There we go. It's probably where you were doing something. He was dead. I was convinced they put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. He's, he's fine. Just a scratch. 
sudden, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Hello, my name is Mikael Kasurinen and I'm the lead game designer of Alan Wake. This is a video game commentary that spans throughout the whole game. Commentary. Turn that off. Right. I got video, I've accidentally been able to video commentary. Oh, is that little dude down in the corner talking? Yeah, I accidentally enabled the audio commentary. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. There we go, that's a little better. Moving around. Keep subtitles on. Oh, I, was, I was tweaking with my... Uh, it's the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Right. But there's coffee. It's golden. The bridge had collapsed. I ain't made that far yet. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. You still just run. Lighthouse. Oh, I was calling the wall. Okay. That's a weird looking color. That looks like Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch is missing. Is mi yeah. Doctor Strange is missing. You talking about the, the main character, dude? Nah, there, there's a missing poster. Uh, okay. Again, I, yeah, it does go like that. You think you're Very good. Uh, you okay, time to go. That was more than a scratch.
out of reach. The cabin was a death trap. I had to get out. I don't know where to go with. Go to the portal. Can I jump? I... You are hurt. You should go into the light. I'm uh, uh, only safe there. The light wasn't over there. The light was that way. Okay. Well done. Thank you. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my life. <laughs> you understand? No. Very calm, nonchalant. No. Did you your dream to teach you? The darkness is dangerous. Sleeping now, but it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness you protects him from all harm. Mm -hmm. Only light to drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Thank you, Jesus. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Oh, Jesus, give me a piece. Jesus. Bye, Jesus. A terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Hey.
Who's here? Alan, wake up. <laughs> Shh, baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. What the hell are we here for? <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Damn, yuppies. Bro, what's this dude wearing a battle rattle for? Alright, I just figured it out. We're in Georgia. <laughs> okay. Good day to you, too. Am I going for the shot? Up here. Pose for Alice. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying that. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this way. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. Why she dressed like Negan? So you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, Ben Seller. That's my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got it. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and charge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you, too. Hey, he's got a dimple, too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back Damn. to the car. Damn, you look terrified. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stucky. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. Oh, dude, they got a Microsoft car. Thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I've forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake, Alan Wake. Oh, God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all your books. 
Just get creepy. I got the cut up from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. And you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Oh, right. So much for quiet vacation. <laughs> Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. Do me a favor, break. Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Uh, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Now that's what I'm talking about, yes! This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Okay. It's like a really somber cover of it. <laughs> what? The, the coconut. Coconut. Yeah, you put the lime in the coconut. Oh. It's like a really slow paced somber. Okay. You're, you're okay. It's only in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it now. I'll give you that later. Wait, wait. I wanted to find you stuff to, die, to get the key and get out as soon what? as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. He would make her fans on this day. You're so scared. Give me, give me a later. Okay. You got me scared now. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Bro, just looked like he was in pain. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. I'm coming hang out here with a crazy lantern lady. You just you stay back time, there. Young man. You can hurt yourself in you the tell me. This really ought to be fixed. And then I must be right. Even that sounds... I'm sure I thought the dude had died. Are you alright? Alex, meet your micro micro. Splendid! Damn hernia! It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid! It's been a long time, John. Good to see you. Hey, you were like crying. I wish. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They got off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Hmm. That's what I didn't want to blow everybody's ears out. <laughs> Calling him. Oh, my wife is here. Bye, Mr. Wake. Bye. Mission accomplished. The key. First direction. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. <gasps> Foreshadowing. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Oh, I do really trust that bitch. That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Wait, okay. she told me to act like we're on vacation. He says we are on vacation. Barry says we're here to write something. What, what, what's the deal? I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. 
Not since my last book. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city you might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. <laughs> Particle fix. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Nope. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. Nope. And I've got the flash. Oh, we got the damn ring well here. What the fuck? Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Nope. Nope. I feel like I keep coming over here, I'm gonna get like a really stupid game over. Or I'm gonna find something that's like cool. I think the water effects are really good. I still wanna know why I'm wearing a hoodie up under a jacket, up under a wool overcoat. It's cold. I guess, I don't know. Yeah, I think one of the license plates over in Washington. Oh, I knew it was coffee. The cabin obviously got its name from the mm -hmm. shape of the island. Mitzi's it looked like a giant bird. Over. Alice had mentioned that the lake was a caldera. There was a dormant volcano under it. Did it again? I said Mitzi was trying to knock the phone over. Yeah. That's where it Park yeah, so we walk over there. Damn. That kind of sucks. <laughs> Boy, this bridge crooked ass. Mm. We need keys to the back doors. Hello? Anyone here? That was coffee cane, Adam. Hey, yo, who up here? I'm gonna beat you with my thermos. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Box or a generator somewhere on the Calm down, I'm exploring. The hey. cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. Excuse me. Secret. 
Straight up thought this was an exercise bike at first. Wait, what happened to my 5 had five batteries? What happened to him? Oh, it was that bitch. That bitch in the black dress. She took my batteries. Had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. E and B, I'm guessing Earl and Betty. Please. Oh, yeah, the right. generator had been connected to the power cable. <laughs> Mechanic. I'll look around a bit. Oh, I said I can look around for a little bit. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. But then the Fire Nation attacked. Alice had told me about Calder Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. <laughs> okay, 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 hiccups. Hold your breath. <laughs> okay, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I scared my own hiccups away. Alice? Honey? Oh, hey. Hey, hey. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> what? Okay. Surprise. Alice, what is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn, Alice, you... Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of this. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Me so now me. you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? Yeah, I'm right in front of you. Don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. What did you trip over? Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken 
from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. I remember those times, 13 years ago. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Not the whole, like, wrecking a car on the cliff thing, but, you know, having a phone that didn't last for four days without having to be charged. The best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Me. Hello? Someone there? Someone give me my piece back? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Oh shit, I'm the hero! F5, oh, it's gonna be. Yeah. Departure by Alan Wake. It okay, thanks. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident! I need help! Deposit! I need two premium cabins for rent in... Nightfall! Oh, hell. Carl Stucky! Pleased to meet you! non refundable Reservation has required! Fair and square! Okay. Uh, Don't forget me if I got coffee. Uh, the taking street before me, it was impossible to focus on it. As if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a sharp light. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. 
I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Well, technically, he's already doing that. Oh, product placement. During your. Uh, what else we got? It's the latest. In. In. Test them, boys. Yes. Proven. Right ball, Sheriff Station. Hello? Hello? Oh, that's a bitch move. You can see the sights and keep those balls. No, no, no. Oh, we're going on a trip. Okay. Oh, no, we're not. Yep. was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Oh, 
Hey. He was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. I want to squat when I go to run. Oh, it's because I'm doing that dodge thing. Okay, I understand now. I want like some lithium batteries. Uh, who was that? There's shit when I reach. What's over here? Ooh! Motherfucker! jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that, not sleeping, messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with that, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. I do not drop down. That, that was not what was supposed to happen. What the hell? Mm. Oh, we got the secrets. Secrets this way. Secret, secret, secret. Oh, where does secret go? Oh, well, they go. Oh, okay.
good, okay. Taken. They're taken. The taken are filled with darkness. Oakley, Oakley, let's go. Hmm. Okay. The staircase was broken. I yes. had to make my way up some other way. Okay. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Mm. Is that... forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Alrighty! Shit, shotgun! Uh, what did I just pick up? I heard them before I saw them, sweeping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Okay, so I'm about to be attacked by birds. Murder of crows. Bing bong. Right. I could have done sound effects for this game. Oh, okay. Did a thing and now stuff's gonna attack me. Or not. Let's see what's on this table. Just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night. I know most of you are probably in the sheds by now. You're sure up and around. 
step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. I'm gonna stay outside too long because my boy's going on a trip here. It's still clear, it's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Keep listening, keep going. I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. It takes an old man like me, I wish I could just roam wild. But here I am, man. We'll keep you company all night long if I want. Well, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Call her, you're on here. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thank you. You have a good night now. At first I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy, or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages, feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Hmm. I see coffee. The gas station was closer now. Its light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best corks in the street. Belly Burster is the best with no coat. Monster Dog <coughs> is second best. The famous dog is Zoo. garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen talking like a madman.
Let's see what we got this time. Wake wise to the sheriff. She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up. What we got? What we got here? Mind can't perceive death, so that what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. Yeah. One in which the weapon didn't fire. That's about the thing where you're. Your brain can't perceive death, so it's uh I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. But. So wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality you die? Yes. Yes, yes, of course. But that's completely you're, trivial. Because your brain cannot perceive death. Left on. And that's not gonna fall at all.
Oh, boy, he's fast. Okay. Oh. Come back here. The story so far. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. That's kind of creepy. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. Oh, good. They didn't put a butt hole on there. They didn't make the cat's mistake. Uh, Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling, caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting dark. <laughs> the deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. You want me to finish the cake pops? Mm, sure. All right. I'll keep writing. I'll still be watching. Okay. Outside the cabin, outside the store, there's only darkness. I can feel the presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell a perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Hmm. Phantasmagoria? The fuck is that? The Mystic's Amazing Phantasmagoria. Okay. What we got here? Can't read. Cheese and cream? Garlic and vinegar. Eh, that might be good. Big stuffer. Fuzzy dice. There's a car magnets. Oh, we got beer. Nordic walking. Bright Falls. Bright 
Rainbow Sheriff Station. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake. Well, listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen... We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I could have kept his ass in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. And it was good. Go to sleep. It Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at, but the cabin had disappeared. Three years ago. Hey, we got an open fuse box. Just, okay. weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Hey, handsome. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're going to need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. What the hell kind of weather? Is it snowing? I'm from Georgia. We don't see this much often. Yeah, it's snow. There's snow in the seal. Okay. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Here's my jacket. No. Break the rules. say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow on the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. So the memory of my corpse. Oh, I alone know. at my own wake. Thinking of metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Just that right there, we get a lot of, like, Alan Wake vibes. Oh, no, not Alan Wake. Max Payne. Like, uh, the second back Max Payne, I think, is when What's Your Name's in it. The 
the voiceover dude for that sounded a oh, lot hey. like I just the finished those cover mockups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Okay. No, I'm scan this QR code. I'm like, I kind of want to see if it actually goes to anything. <laughs> it just takes and says, oh, it turns out this isn't too bad, even if you're not sitting on a couch when you play it, who knew? Okay. Nice. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Please check the fuse box. Okay, it's my door. I remember where it's at. On it, honey. Please hurry. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? <laughs> Hi. I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. <laughs> Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Nausea, disorientation, anything like that. Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Bro's even stabbed in the neck. Okay, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. Oh, that's just like this. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker is waiting what for What the fat ass fish? Good at her job. I'm sure she is. A large mouth bass there. No time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to oh, the station oh, oh. to take a look at the cut in my head. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. <laughs> oh, and I got hiccups here. Oh, the later, the later lady. What's up? I missed you. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. Hey, yo, let's I'll squat up. Later on, Drew. I'll take you with me on my next expedition. Mr. Wake, 
the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor? This way? That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, all other things these days. She'd fit right in where I come from. As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? Hey, you're still the coffee. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human shape. She shook her head and laughed. first it's a cat oh oh I read something read a knack for winning contests wonder if that's like a fan or something that won a contest and got put in the game that, that'd be funny come in Mr. Wake your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Nope. Ah, I'm just fucking with you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me, I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the boss. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. Mr. Lee, can I help you with anything? Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out there. Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They won't... Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know, I shouldn't even be in here. The cops, they got it. Sure, 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 I beat him up. I wasn't drunk. I mean, you know, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk after. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, you gotta listen carefully. Here's the kicker. I wasn't Danny. No, sir. <laughs> that face expression. <laughs> oh lord. Oh. Oh. Ooh, he's kidding. In spite of its human mass, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. 
Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for you to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. Had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting, it's a big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition. There's no point in getting all worked up yet. <laughs> that jump. Damn! Calm down, son! It's just a piece of wood! Just chill! <laughs> The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall and the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Alice's driver's license had been placed in the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Oh. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. Uh -huh. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Okay. Marvelous, Sarah. I just want to all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. Tor and Odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm. Indeed. All we can do is to slow down the progress of their dementia. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey, 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 take it easy. What's in, what's in the back? Just... Oh. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, 
My offer still stands. Get me out of here. Barry reminds me of... What the hell was what's that about? Was it was a joke from Mafia 2. Of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow, I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? Hey. Well, don't ask me. Jeez, Mister takes a swing at everybody. But to this Charlie, is that is She's a that's very funny. Nice girl, and more importantly, a fan. I feel like the vertebrae should be a little bit longer. But the the name, the name is amazing. Uh, Fourteen thousand years old. Oh, that's cool. Okay, okay. Pause in the damn game. I want one of these bears. They look very judgmental. Right, let's go right here and Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. Oh, someone's in the shitter. Someone's in both of the shitters. Okay. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? Bro. When's the last time you slept? Bro, I shot like 14 guys and they all disappeared. No! I just did like hot coffee. I'm missing a week and someone's got Alice. And everything's just. You understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. It would be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself Wait a here. to the funny farm. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife. But if I, my call. If, if I don't there, meet the kidnapper, how can I advance the plot of the story? Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you try to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Okay. I think this is the form you want. I hated a human, not the dog. Are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Look, you're asking Barry, get the fucking you car! You shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed him. We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, the killer! This is not a guy. Oh, that was making more noise. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. <laughs> deliverance. Kathy. 
we got? What, what books we got? The Lad Father? Uh, I'm not sure about that one. Okay. Oh, nope. Lights stay on. Okay, never mind. This way! Coffee behind a locked door. I can smell it. I can smell it. Okay, this well's a bit useless. Here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got good and bad at sales for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. <laughs> yeah, you can smell it. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center. And it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done. But I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't yeah. scare them. And they had Alice. to the show, folks, as promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end of the studio. Hey, uh, that was... My plan? Yeah. You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seek to manage. Hey! I got lights! Taking the atmosphere. Are you doing audio, boy? Yeah. Damn. I have to try to fix that. It's still audio delay, and it, it honestly kind of sounds like you're in like a tunnel. But I'm gonna check out. Okay. I don't know if you saw my comment or not. Uh, I don't have the thing up because I don't have a secondary monitor. Uh, I might put the CD back up. Use it to start using the secondary monitor. So one thing mm -hmm. I remember why I hate making K-pops. Yeah. The outdoors type. And uh, the second thing, I ran out of um, chocolate, so some of them do not have chocolate. The ones with chocolate are in the fridge. Uh, uh, cooling. But you're not you have chocolate. Part of the fishing no, no, but they're so good, even without the chocolate. chocolate. I'm just not that competitive anymore. I, I think I'd rather just pay Walmart to do that. Less of a headache and a burger. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Did I get up? Don't leave me one third time. I'll go downstairs. Yeah, there was this whole plate and then like one line on the yeah. um, cookie sheet.
Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way, felt the broken ribs stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. instant I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Rusty! Rusty! The ground was covered with green patches. Hunters need hunting licenses. hole in the wall. Please don't feed the animals. Fishing is only permitted. Most prisoners who purchase a park license no bay.
Peak was at the far end of the nature trail.
Flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. Um, okay. Is 
Is it turn the corner? from the ferry. my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. 
He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake! You better keep up! from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. <laughs> yeah, no can do. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Hold them off, damn it. <laughs> A little longer. Scare them off. Get some light on those bastards! That'll keep them off us! Just a little longer! I almost got it! Okay, it's over! Move it or lose it! Feeling better now, Wake. All cozy and safe. Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun! They're coming! That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake.
Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were going to say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're going to write about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. Put like Christmas lights on them. <coughs> Wouldn't be able to see them otherwise. Oh, I about ran into one. Ingenious. So we go that way. To be here first. Or shh, please. She let Wake go without argument, because there was something about him she couldn't quite put her finger on, something that reminded her of her father. She didn't think Wake would hurt his wife. Then she thought about the way he waded into Hartman, that hair trigger rage flaring up without warning. Coffee! How do I get to you? This way? It's across the way. Yeah, I guess I gotta go this way. I will get you coffee, I promise. Well, not no coffee left behind. Balance moving.
treating me right round, baby, right round. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. Hey, Ooh, I hear footsteps, and I don't like it. Come at me, bro. Ah! He's scared. Oh, you're okay. You just need some water. No, you're just fine.
taking names and kicking, or taking ass and kicking names. Beam me up, Sky. Nope, okay. was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. Kicking shit in this game. When Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. The men Al said he'd shot, they hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow the world had changed. Like the channel is <laughs> just like the morning. You think you're watching a sitcom and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised, just terrified. Hit me there. Bobby. Probably get this like achievement without even trying just to affect my caffeine addict. Oh yeah, rocks falling from the wood. That doesn't frighten me at all. Shat so hard it broke through the damn roof of the whatever this is. Be aware of widowmakers. Okay. Ow. Oh, he just pushed me.
Fuck it, noob. this out of the woods. I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster, and the headlights were a welcome bonus. The 
The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could get in, but someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Some hunter rifle ammo in the women's bathroom. Where's the toilets? Huh. Oh, well, uh, this is a patriarchy. <laughs> the men's bathroom has toilets for the women's dome. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. You can and your soul. Just taking the shit. I'm sorry. Are we cool though? That scared me. They have some easy toilet paper. We just gave it to you. You gotta be all aggressive. Bitch, where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. Not done? I need a week. 
two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. Not, well, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Ow! Ow, I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche. A tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. I really like separate endings. You want to find all the miniature pages for you don't have it. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. See you soon. Oh, that, that sounds suspicious. Have a great at day. All. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Dream Bar. Good girl. Silent Hill shit is this. The soundtrack is. Pretty legit. Why is there a boat in the middle of the fucking trailer park? Come here. Okay. Pretty please. Can you 
rattraper le film, il dit ah, c'est nice, non Probably do a part two sometimes.